Hi, it's David. It's been a while that I made a video. Today I want to show you how to upgrade an older car from 3G connection to LTE. Um, the actual work this time is done by Tony. He's a brilliant guy. He knows a lot about Tesla. He has helped me uh, swap out my EMC chip. That's the chip that holds all the data that starts to fail in older cars. I'm going to make a separate video about that. And he also helped me upgrade my car from 3G to LTE, which made a big difference in terms of speed and map redraw and all of that. Totally worth it. Uh, you can get the part from Tesla, I believe, from the service center, and you can do it yourself. Uh, there's two steps in it. First of all, you have to take out the MCU. Uh, taking out the MCU is a, a different uh, kind of video. Um, I'm going to uh, link in the description to how to do that. This video is just about the LTE modem and swapping that out and um, putting it back together and all of that um, and let me uh, introduce you to Tony uh, he is going to take do all the work and uh, show you how it's done so here we have the MCU what are you doing with this now so Can we are going to upgrade this to LTE this is currently a 3G modem uh, I have a LTE modem ready with the SIM. Uh, you're going to have to get these from the service centers. Uh, we can put the part numbers into the video at the bottom here. Uh, you're going to need a T25 to remove six screws on the tops and sides and bottom of the bezel. You're going to need a T30 to remove the 12 screws that hold the screen together. I'm going to make this a little quicker using a that's a drill here, or a screwdriver here. I love how you're using the back of the car as a table. Definitely, yeah. All Tesla parts, right? Yeah. A lot of these are going to have this little Bluetooth antenna. Um, not all of them do, but you have to pop this, this out to make it easy to remove the bezel. So you can uh, let's try this plastic pry tool first. There's usually a black, black plastic clip that goes over this. This one's missing it. Now you're going to want to carefully open this because there's the ribbon cables that attach to the LCD screen. Uh, it is for the video display and for the touch screen. If you damage those, uh, you're going to have you're going to need a new screen. Likely, so. little tab, press that, release, pull that out. This, you lift this up, flip it up, and gently wiggle this out. And this one, you depress this connector here, and then you can release this. I'll pause for a second, and then we're gonna get this out of the way. Okay. And then for the final removal of the modem, you're gonna need a T10 bit. So there's four screws in here, or three screws actually. Uh, so now we're going to pull the antennas off of here. Uh, one more thing I'm going to make a special note for people doing this upgrade. This one is the GPS antenna. Um, this J6 is not used. I believe these numbers, J7, right here is J7 and this one is J5. So we'll be using those three, and again, this one is not used. If you do connect your GPS to this one by accident, you're not gonna have GPS functionality in your car. Don't ask me why I know that. <laughs> and these pop right off. They just pushed on a little clip, okay. And then this modem now with the three screws, come right off. You're going to have to take out this little unit here. This, this is the gyro sensor. Uh, the new modems typically don't come with that. So you're going to have to move that from your old one to your new one. So the sense is like inertia? Yeah, so like sometimes if or you're compass. underground and in tunnels oh, and okay. stuff like that, you'll notice that the GPS continues to track you even though you know that it yeah. can't see the sky. So you can still get that part, the 4G modem, you can still get that from Tesla? You can get the modem, but I've been hearing that the SIM card is no longer being sold. 
But I've also heard that if people take their old SIM card back, then they can pay to exchange it for the new one uh, when they have a record that they purchased the modem. So I haven't tried that yet. Um, if someone wants to try it and let us know, please do. I had purchased these before they became a restricted item. So now this has the same little connector. It's going to be oriented a little bit differently when we go back in now. You notice that the SIM card is pointing differently now. Um, it was previously in this orientation. Okay. That's just how it works on the board. And once you have that set in, you'll see all the screws match up. Uh, sometimes when you're taking these out, that bottom nut, nut comes out along with it. So if that happens, no big oh, deal. You can yeah. put a little, uh, use a little wrench or something on the other right. side and grip it when you have it off and take that off. Okay. Here comes the J7. And the J5. All right, there we go, and it's all set. Uh, now you can put everything back together. Once you put it back in the car, turn it on, it's gonna start uh, being able to see LTE. You may need a reboot uh, for it to sense everything properly. Uh, but generally, uh, most times I've seen it just come up right the first time. We're going to do the final reassembly. Uh, you're going to notice the screen looks a little bit different. I'm using a temporary one right now because there was some yellowing on the screen that I just removed. And uh, I'm going to use the UV to try to fix that. But it's going to take about 24 hours or so. So uh, I'm just going to put this back in place so we have a fully functional car. Now when you're putting these back in, you gotta make sure you really carefully make sure you get it fully seated. If you don't, uh, when you turn it back on, your screen either may not power on, uh, so it'll be continue to be black, or the touch responses won't work, uh, depending okay. on which cable is loose. I believe this one is the video, and okay. this one is the touch. So you have video, you have touch, and you have power, basically, that's the three connectors. Correct. And you want to be really careful, you see these ribbons uh, on the side, when you put this back together you want to be really careful not to damage it as you do, you can work, uh, end up with a defective screen and those are uh, part of the digitizer so they don't separate easily. And at that point you're going to have to probably buy a new screen. Now also I'm putting it back in with the uh, carrier because there is a little gapping that needs to be properly set if you see these screws here. If you don't do it with the screen, it's kind of hard to get the uh, spacing correctly. Mm -hmm. So if you do it with the screen, so there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do it like how I just did it, uh, loosely with the screen on, and then uh, put that in. Or you can put the screen on and then flip it onto the bezel before you fully tighten it, and that'll make sure you get everything centered correctly. Now I'm just gonna by hand here get all these little screws started. Oh. So are you doing all by hand just to make sure that they're sit right? Yeah, I started all these screws by hand because I'm going to use a driver um, for doing it uh, to, to seat all the screws in properly afterwards. And the reason why I do it by hand first is so that I can feel it and make sure that I don't cross thread any of the screws because when you use a tool, um, they're, they're really powerful and you can't really tell if they're in slightly crooked or off a, a tooth or so and it'll continue to go in but then the next time you want to remove it it's going to be really hard. Alright we're going to put this back into the car now. Now, generally, I recommend you pull the fuse before you do this. Right. Uh, if it's your... Yeah, you got lazy. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little lazy. I, I do this a lot, so I know what to be careful of and where yeah. to not touch and things. So. Right. But I definitely recommend all your viewers at home yes. pull the fuse. There we go, LTE. Awesome. 
And that's it in terms of and 4G that's upgrade. It. Yeah, there's in the four screws that go back in to hold the MCU in place. So, uh, like I said, the LTE upgrade is complete. It doesn't need any uh, service center business. It doesn't even do anything. You just simply got to swap out the card and the SIM card, uh, the modem card, and the SIM card that goes on there, and then it'll come up. Thanks. Awesome.